You could put it, you could move to your right and you could wear it as a hat. To the right, to the right, to the right, and stop and bend down. <laughs> yeah. Got it. It's insanely hot and beautiful here today and I am here with you Claire who have sponsored this video um, and I'm here I hang on hang on a minute they have superimposed a cat oh the whole scene is fake hang on I had a stupid moment the cat looks especially fake and I love the detail and a book with its pages wafting in the wind um, we are here in Paris with Uniqlo for the launch of their new Uniqlo youth selection with Claire Waite Keller, which is very, very exciting. And I have seen it already and it is very up my street, which by proxy will hopefully mean it's very up all of your street as well. Um, so yeah, we just got in on the Eurostar. We're staying at, oh my God, I'm going to say it wrong, obviously. <sighs> Let me do my best. Le Jardins. Du Faubourg. Faubourg? Faubourg. Anyway, it's a very, very beautiful hotel in Paris. Um, and tonight we have a dinner and tomorrow we have a collection walkthrough. So I'm going to bring you along for all of it. Um, it's a very like knitwear, winter heavy collection that we will all be doing our best with in the 35 degree heat. But I'm going to show you it all as we go. Um, and yeah, let's look at this view actually in Paris. Ah, how nice. Just stick your head out of a window in Paris. It's beautiful. Look in your lift on the way down to the lobby. Some good baggy jeans, good sleeveless knit. Oof, it's like a really thick 
soft wool, the Uniqlo bag a la TikTok in different colours, great knits, oh, love that. Good morning guys, excuse me, I'm finding cold salt. Um, it's just about five to eight and I'm up to go for a beautiful walk. Oh my god, what a morning. We went for dinner last night at a restaurant called Plumes, um, which was like Japanese-French fusion. And I'll be honest, if I had to pick a restaurant, I wouldn't pick Japanese French fusion, but it was so nice. It was super fancy. So like if you're in Paris and you were wanting a nice fancy dinner with like good cocktails, kind of like bougie, like posh hotel vibes. It was great. Vibes, I <laughs> yeah, I feel about that word. It was great. Um, oh my God, these little like corners of Paris like this. I haven't been to Paris in almost a year. I'm really deeply apologise for how gross this, this is as well. It's just um, refusing to heal at the moment and trying to very much leave it to be. Um, so yeah, we had such a nice day and today we get to go and have like a preview of the collection, which will be really good because obviously I showed you bits of it last night, but it's just been too hot for us all to wear it as well. <laughs> so you're not really getting to see people in it. Um, like it's already nearly 20 degrees and it's 8 a.m. Um, so yeah, and then we've got lunch and then back home on the Eurostar. So a lovely day, but first let's have our gorgeous morning walk. So now, you know, I just answered to their question to me, yeah. which I, you know, I imagine for first, as first question. And now you, you know their first question to you. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, firstly, thank you so much for all coming here. I'm so happy that I can show you the collection. Um, but also, um, I'm just thrilled to uh, obviously have this opportunity to work with Yuki and the team at Uniqlo. Um, I've been a big fan of Uniqlo for about 10, 15 years, and I first kind of in got introduced to it through their project with Jill Sander, um, and saw the you know the amazing kind of connection she had with the brand, and just appreciated so much of their talent, innovation, and the way that they develop clothing at such an incredible price but also at such a high quality. And so I felt that it could be a really interesting opportunity to, to work together and do something through my aesthetic. And so we started and talked kind of still a little bit just after the pandemic. Um, and so it was interesting to kind of figure out how to work from London and Tokyo, but I've been to Tokyo quite a few times and it's just great working there, I love it. So um, and now we have this fantastic casual collection. So. Are you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to check. <laughs> so anyway. Textures, 
but also just the community that is there, very young, vibrant, entrepreneurial. And so I was quite inspired not only by the colors of that area, but also by the way that people live their lives. They're all kind of commuting on bikes, taking the tube. And so you see this sense of movement in clothes. And so that's really inspired a lot of what was here in the collection. Hello everybody, um, back home now as you can see and I've got some more pieces of the Uniqlo collection to show you. Um, so I thought I'd finish this vlog off now that I'm back from Paris with showing these items um, from the Uniqlo C collection which is available now as well. First is this very nice cashmere cardigan, it's very soft. Um, I think you could kind of wear it in an evening as well and go a bit sexy with it. I, I would like to wear it like very open with a lacy bra. I think that'd be quite nice for an evening. Um, I'm going away this weekend, hence the packing. And I might take this for like a nice pub evening, something like that. Um, and I might also take this coat. These jeans aren't they're, they're just the our legacy ones. I'm just slowly adding on the entire collection bit by bit. Yeah. This was the piece I was most excited about when I saw it all in Paris. This jacket, it's so good. It's so soft. I'm gonna show you in this mirror. Hang on, the lighting sometimes a little bit better over here. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Excuse the washing. It is adulting 24 seven, it never ends. Um, it's so good. It's so soft. I love how cropped it is. The sleeves are a really, really good length. They can kind of like billow out a little bit, which I really like as well. And the big pockets and the collar. I love this. I'm also going to pack this for my weekend away. Perfect jacket for now. It's kind of weather like um, autumn nor weather. I was going to say fall and then reminded myself I'm um, British after all. Um, really good from the side too. Let me check what size I've got. Hang on. Has anyone else had that jungle song in their head for the past week? However long it's been. How long has it been? Um, this is in this size. Okay, this is in a size small. It's quite oversized. Don't size up, I would say. Yeah, definitely don't size up, actually. I think if you size up, it would be too long and then it would kind of lose this shape. And you've got loads of armpit space for like chunky jumpers and things. So, ooh -wee. These are good. They're all padded inside. I just tried to film the inside of them and it just, you can't tell. <laughs> you just have to take my word for it. It's almost like a neoprene feeling padding and they're all squishy um, and very comfortable. They're not too wide on the leg, so I also think you could probably fit like a pair of loose fitting jeans over them. Obviously, they'd have to be quite baggy, but these are great. I just put on some St. Agony shorts with this. Um, but yeah, they're really good. They are um, really comfortable as well and a nice heavy sole on them. For me, this... This jacket is the winning piece, not to discriminate against the others, but I think this is like one of those great, great Uniqlo items, like the t-shirts which I've had for years, that just will be one that I keep for a really long time in my wardrobe. So very happy with this. Um, everything will be linked in the description box. Big thank you to Uniqlo for taking me to Paris, for working with me on this trip, for working with me on this job. Um, it's such a pleasure to be working on a collection that I feel really excited about to share with you guys. And also one that when, when she, um, she said that it was inspired so much by Hackney, I was like, oh, place close to my heart. I love living around here. So um, it feels nice to be able to now wear it around here as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you in the next one, which will probably be a vlog. I think I feel like I've got lots of bits to share at the moment.